Okay, today we're going to review the procedure for extracting or removing air that may be trapped inside the engine cooling system. To begin, we need to answer the question of what happens when a vehicle's engine cooling system has air in it, or how do we know or suspect that a vehicle has this problem with air in the engine cooling system, and the symptoms that a vehicle may present when we suspect that it has air in the system are the following. First, there may be overheating, since the engine cooling system consists of the coolant and the internal passages of the engine, as well as the hoses and the radiator, which will allow the coolant to pass through the system. So, in the engine area, there are different compartments, there are different places through which the coolant travels. So, generally when a repair is made, such as changing the thermostat or changing the water pump, all the coolant is also drained when the system is cleaned. So when we put coolant back in here, many times the system fills up, but some air bubbles remain trapped in the system. So when that happens, we can have different symptoms in the vehicle. One is overheating, since if large bubbles remain inside the system, even though the coolant is circulating. Many times in certain places or certain passages in some vehicles, depending on their design, depending on the internal passages, there may be places where air remains and the coolant continues to circulate, but the air remains stuck there. In some systems, over time, that air escapes with the vibrations and with the movement of the pump and the coolant itself. Little by little, the air escapes, reaches the radiator here and is purged or exits through the radiator cap in the tank. In many vehicles, that happens, but in other vehicles, due to their design, many times the air remains there. Many times we realize that there is air in the system because the needle goes up to the middle or above the middle and suddenly it goes back. It goes up to the middle or slightly past the middle and then suddenly goes back to a quarter. It means that there are air pockets inside the system that are causing these temperature fluctuations. The vehicle may not heat up, but it is annoying to see the needle fluctuate. This is due to temperature changes, as the thermostat opens and closes, and these air bubbles or spaces inside the system will be very noticeable. That is why many vehicles often have overheating or symptoms of overheating and the reason cannot be found. Many times it is due to that. For example, in the case of this truck, this is the symptom it has that the needle goes up to the middle or a little after the middle and then goes back. Sometimes it has this dynamic where the blade fluctuates. So, to avoid this, you have to remove the air from the system. And for example, in the case of this truck, the symptoms are even more noticeable, since the thermostat is here at the top, as you can see. Here is the thermostat, it is at the highest point and apart from that, the engine coolant temperature sensor is just below the thermostat, therefore, these fluctuations are somewhat normal as long as they are before the middle. Before the middle and a little above a quarter, that is normal. What is no longer normal is when these fluctuations go beyond the middle of the temperature gauge. So, to remove the air from the system, we are going to do the following. In this case, I already have this special funnel ready here, since in some vehicles it can be done only using the radiator inlet here, but in this case, as we can see, the inlet is tilted, therefore, this is going to be the most advisable. Apart from that, in vehicles where we are already having symptoms, it is best to have this type of special funnel. As you can see, it has some adapters so that the funnel is straight and allows us to put coolant here so that the coolant enters. A significant amount of coolant remains here so that once we start the vehicle, the air can escape. It's also important to mention that I've already raised the front of the truck in this case. So what I'm going to do next is this. I'm going to pour some coolant here so that the radiator is completely full, and I want the coolant to stay here. So I'm going to pour some coolant up to about here and I'm going to start the vehicle. So what we want here is for the vehicle to start reaching normal operating temperature. So when I open the thermostat, the coolant is going to circulate through the entire system. So what we need to do here is take advantage of the opportunity to accelerate the vehicle so that the pump is pushing the coolant through the system and in that way, the air starts to come out to the highest part, which in this case is going to be here, because the truck is raised at the front. That's very important. 
Also, of course, we have to open the heating radiator so that the coolant can circulate through the entire system, including the heating radiator. And what we're going to see here are the bubbles that are coming out. We want all those bubbles to come out, which is all the air that's trapped in the system. As we accelerate, when the vehicle reaches normal operating temperature, we accelerate, the thermostat opens and as I mentioned, that allows the coolant to circulate throughout the system and all the bubbles to start coming out, which is the air that's trapped inside the system. Okay, so here everything is ready. I'm going to start the vehicle and I'm going to wait until it reaches normal operating temperature to start accelerating, so that all the air bubbles start coming out. Okay, as we can see, at this point, practically all the air has come out, we can see little or no bubbles coming out through the funnel, something that we can also do additionally if it's safe to do is if we have a hose on hand, carefully, either with a claw or with gloves, we can press the hose or hoses a little. This can also help us get some extra air out of the system if there's still any in the radiator or in the hoses. So as we can see here, practically everything is ready. What we can see now is the temperature needle remaining stable a little ahead after a quarter, which is normal. And as we can see, at this point, the needle never goes past halfway, which is what we want to see. So here, everything is practically ready. Here, I'm just going to carefully remove the funnel. Fortunately, these types of funnels have a way of removing it safely. I'm going to use claws and gloves here. We can also wait for it to cool down, and of course, it's important that after we cover the system, we also refill the coolant tank, the plastic tank, if the system has one. Another important point to mention is that in systems where we don't have direct access to the radiator cap, this procedure is done in the tank or in the reservoir. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it or found it useful. That helps me a lot. Thank you very much. That's all for now and see you next time.